Our next optical element for polarization is the rotator. So a rotator does what it says it does. It rotates linear light. Linearly polarized light. by optical activity. And we'll get into the definition of that in a minute. First, let's show what we mean by rotate linear light. So here we have some um, linearly polarized light going straight across the optical axis. Now, if we bring in a material that has optical activity, what will happen is as the linear light goes through, it will rotate the polarization direction will turn a little bit and more and more and more and more and it basically turns as it goes through the medium and of course when it comes out it's now rotated. So it's really the simplest kind of device you can imagine for for rotating uh, linear light. So it went in uh, vertical and it comes out at some angle. So the angle you get, so if it came in like this and it exited like that, the angle is beta we call the angle beta, then we would say that beta is rho times d. So d is just going to be this distance, the thickness of the material, something like that. And then rho is called the specific rotation. And it's in a unit of just degrees, usually per millimeter. So if you want to know how much you're going to rotate light, you just look up its specific rotation. You figure out how thick of a piece of material you need, and that's how much rotation you get. Now you could say we have already rotated light with a wave plate. Remember, a half wave plate can be used to rotate light. But physically, they're very different. So the physical phenomena they use is different, but also the way you use them is different. This one rotates light by a set amount based on its width and its optical activity, and that's, or in its specific rotation, and that's really all it can do. A wave plate, it rotates light sort of by twice the angle, a half wave plate, by twice the angle at which you have it relative to the linear polarization. So the half wave plate, you can actually adjust how much you rotate the light. With this, you really just get what you get. Um, let's look at the matrix. Uh, the matrix for this element, so the Jones matrix for the rotator is cosine beta minus sine beta um, cosine, sine, cosine, sine, sine beta, cosine beta. So if you want to rotate through an angle beta like we just did, that's what you get. And we can test it out real quick. We can multiply it by, um, if we had, uh, say, horizontal light go through this material, it would get rotated by how much? That would end up being equal to cosine beta over uh, sine beta. And of course, that's the formula for rotator light by beta. Cosine is the horizontal part, and sine is the vertical part. And the whole matrix works for any linear light going in, not just for, for horizontal light. So that's what a rotator does. Now, what, how does it work? <laughs>